Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's do our weekly update on the AFL. Another, another great weekend of football all around Australia. Um, I got five out of nine this week, but I'm also trying to catch up. So I'm doing a couple of little iffy ones here and there. But yeah, really great week. Let's have a look at what happened. So I started off with the uh, D's getting back to full steam and pretty much dem demolishing the Dockers, um, giving everyone the, the, the scare that we know that should be coming from Melbourne. We know they're a great team. Um, Melbourne, Geelong are clear favourites at the moment in the AFL. Uh, another amazing win by Collingwood, really gutsy effort. They really are playing well and uh, with lots of passion. Uh, good effort by Port. I knew that Port could um, be a danger game for a couple of teams coming up in the last uh, four weeks. I've been copying a bit of heat from Collingwood fans because my last video said that they can miss the eight. I didn't say that they would miss the eight. I just said if a couple of games go the, the wrong way, they could miss the eight. But now Collingwood are definitely entrenched into the top six, which is good for uh, Pies supporters. Uh, Sydney absolutely destroyed the Giants. Uh, Sydney are a really dangerous team at the moment, so I think we're down to three, three contenders at the moment. On current form, Melbourne, Geelong and Sydney. Um, Hawthorne uh, didn't win against St Kilda, so that was a good win by St Kilda. Keeps their um, chances alive to keep them in the eight. Um, Geelong were just too good for the Bulldogs, even though the Bulldogs started really well. Um, surprising win by Adelaide. Um, now this week, well, last week I said Carlton can miss the eight. This week, uh, sorry, Collingwood can miss the eight. This week, Carlton are looking like they're going to miss the eight. So if I'm a Carlton supporter, I'll be looking at a couple of games. I'll talk about that soon. Uh, Suns had a really gutsy win against the um, West Coast Eagles. Um, bit bit too much too late for the Suns. They needed to put that effort in for the last three weeks. They didn't do it. Um, good. good for West Coast to try to come back. They're not giving up. But if you go through a West Coast team, you look at them, half of them are premiership players. So they, shouldn't, um, they shouldn't be where they are. Uh, Richmond had a really great win against the Lions. Lions kicked seven goals in the first um, quarter, I think. But yeah, Richmond come back. We always knew they are going to be a dangerous team, particularly if they make it into the finals. They're going to make a couple of people sweat, you know, if you, if you meet an on-fire Richmond. A um, little bit disappointing with the Lions, a um, little bit disappointed with the umpiring. Some of the decisions that were made in that, this game were absolutely horrendous. But who, who knows with this year of umpiring, umpiring, everything they do seems to turn to shit. Um, Essendon uh, cleaned up North Melbourne, which isn't surprising, not going to affect anyone too much too late too for Essendon. So let's have a look at next week. I'm sure we've got a, uh, an amazing round coming again and here we go. We've got another blockbuster. So we've had six of these in a row. So we've got Melbourne against Collingwood. Now, like I said, I, I don't like Collingwood, never have liked them, but I'd love to see them win this game. Because if they can beat Melbourne, well then they really are contenders. And But I just can't see it, unfortunately, Pies fans. But particularly the way that Melbourne were playing. But let's hope they, they, they give them a good, good run for their money. And Melbourne are a bit iffy in their forward line. And Collingwood's got a really good back line at the moment. And I think uh, Collingwood have found a really good player with Johnson. I don't know if it's his second game or third game, but he looks the real deal. It reminds me a bit of Daryl White. So if he can keep progressing like that, you, I think you're onto a winner there with, with Johnson. But yeah, so that should be a, a ripping game on Friday. Um, we've got Hawks and Suns. Um, I don't know why uh, Hawks would be favourites in this, maybe because it's in Tasmania. But I'm going to go to Suns. Suns have got nothing to lose. I think they're, going, they're just playing for their coach at the moment. Giants, Essendon. Essendon should beat the Giants. Giants have given up hope. I think their coach turned around and said that they're just making up the numbers or something now. Really big game for Bulldogs and Frio. 
uh, Frio aren't traveling that well at, at the moment. So I'm gonna go Bulldogs there. Just as a free, I should win that, but I'll go Bulldogs. Uh, Cats against St Kilda. Cats are just too strong at the moment. Not a really interesting game. I said Port were always going to be a part of the finals, even though they could never make it. But yeah, they can. It, it, really important game for Richmond here. They need to win this one to stay in the eight. So I'm going to go for Richmond the way that they played against us. Uh, Sydney should just uh, belt north. Now another great blockbuster, we've got Brisbane Lions and Carlton. Okay, very important for Carlton to win this one. If they lose this one, they're going to miss the eight. So I'm a Lions supporter, I have to go to the Lions, but you know, Carlton, you have to watch this this game. It's at the Gabba, so if you aren't fired up for that one, be, be, um, be very wary because you guys will miss the eight if you don't win that one. Adelaide and West Coast, 50-50, I don't think so. I think Adelaide are playing quite good. I don't mind the Adelaide team. So there we go. Um, so who have I gone? I've gone, my tips are Melbourne, Suns, Bombers, Doggies, Cats, Tigers, Swannies, Lions, and the Crows. So let's have a look at our predictor. Um, like I said, not too much has to, to change. We've only got two more weeks. So um, let's go to round 21. So I've got Melbourne to beat Collingwood, Suns, Essendon, Cats, Richmond, Lions, Sydney, Adelaide. Let's have a look at what's happening. As you can see, ninth Carlton uh, dropping out of the eight, which is pretty bad. Um, another big game here. All any any of these games in the last couple of weeks always going to um, impact. Any upsets here could really stuff Western Bulldogs up. Richmond, you know they've got to, every, all these teams have to keep winning. But just looking at, um, this is a big game too, if we can change, change Sydney to, to Collingwood. Collingwood is set in the six now. But yeah, it doesn't really affect too much. But these games between Bulldogs, Richmond, Carlton, they're the really important ones. So I've got Melbourne beating the Lions in the last round. Frio hangs in. Cats should just be minor premiers. Richmond hangs in, I think. Bulldogs hangs in. And I've got Carlton beating Collingwood and they still don't make the, the eight. So, yeah. But it's only, it, uh, if, they, if they can beat Collingwood in that last round, it's still percentage. So, percentage with the Bulldogs. But the way the Collingwood's playing, I don't, I don't think Carlton can beat them. So, I've got Carlton missing the eight which is, well, again, I said last week Collingwood can miss the eight, but it just shows you how tight and how close this season is. So, yeah, so this top four battle between the Lions and Collingwood is going to be interesting because you get your, your home, um, your elimination, you get your second chance, but that's the eight that I can see at the moment. So Cats, Melbourne, Sydney, Lions, Collingwood, Dockers, Richmond and Bulldogs. A couple of games to watch this week just to see whether Carlton can get in. But anyway, hopefully your team won on the weekend. Um, another great weekend. I hope this weekend's the same. Really looking forward to the finals this year. So yeah, like and subscribe. Dislike if you do. If you want to leave a shit post like most of the Collingwood people do, that's fine. I don't mind defending my 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 opinions. Have a great week, week and have a great weekend and we'll see you in the next one. Salada.